Do you have concerns about putting the state through a contentious uh, election contest fight? No, I mean, again, this isn't a fight for the contest. It's we're looking at the integrity of the roles. I won by a super squeaky, slim margin uh, in the primary four years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't mind at all move, losing by mm -hmm. a close race. Mm -hmm. And that's the way races go. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose um, by close margins. Mm -hmm. As long as we're confident that the margin is a reflection of the votes that were cast, then by all means, that's what should occur. The one thing that I will say, though, is I have encouraged uh, both my team, in conjunction with the Attorney General and the Attorney General's office himself, to be proceeding with this, mm -hmm. with a transition, mm -hmm. with, with you know, confidence that he will be the next governor. I mean, they should be doing that just as we're proceeding, uh, with confidence that we want the integrity of the process to be mm -hmm. verified mm -hmm. uh, before there's a changing of the guard. I mean, all this seems so sounds so fluid. I mean, it is. I mean, you don't know what you're going to do tomorrow, in terms of after the recanvas, and if it shows that it's about the same vote total, you don't know at this point whether you're going to concede or continue on. No, again, I'm not going to hypothesize because it's going to be driven by a variety of things. What does or doesn't come from the uh, recanvas, which we've said we don't anticipate there'll be any dramatic changes from that. Uh -huh. But let's wait till we.